This is Max Rothman with Brewbound.com. We're here at the Tank Farm at Great Divide with Great Divide's founder, Brian Dunn. Brian, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you, Max? Good. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. Thanks so, for coming. So I understand that you can only go so far into your expansion because it isn't yet finalized, but what can you tell us about that? Well, we're on uh, 19,000 square feet of property here. We're surrounded by two streets, an alley, and a neighbor. So we know that we have a finite amount of time that we can stay here based on our growth. So we are anticipating our growth in the next couple of years. And at some point in the next two and a half to three years, we know that we'll hit a point when we can't continue to grow. So we're looking to, to build a second facility somewhere in Denver. And we're narrowing that down. Uh, we don't exactly know when we'll move forward on starting construction, but we're getting closer to knowing that. How do you recognize that point when you're unable to move forward? Well, we just know what sort of volume we're doing now. We know what sort of volume uh, growth we've had in the past, which varies anywhere between 20 and 40 or 50 percent. So we're trying to estimate our growth in the next couple of years. And then we know what the end point is, at least in terms of when we could stop growing. So the business could always stay here. But we think our final capacity here is about 65,000 barrels. So we feel like we would like to see the brewery grow bigger than that. And we know at what point this facility will stop being able to, to produce or will not be able to produce more than 65,000 barrels. And so what have you been producing in the past few years? Um, we produced 32,000 last year. We'll be about 38 to 39,000 this year. So how do you know the, that now is the right time to start beginning this expansion? Well, we know that it will take um, a good year and a half to two years of one from the time we order equipment to get the equipment into the states, and install it, and do the construction of the, the, the building. So we're, we're estimating, estimating about two years for build out, but we've been looking for real estate for about a year and a half to pick the right spot. So we think we've got something narrowed down now. But, I mean, we're a year and a half into it, and we're, we're getting close. But um, it's, it's kind of, it's, to me, it's really important where we locate. Um, we've always been downtown Denver, and to me it's important that we do stay as close to downtown Denver as possible. So the search that we've been undertaking really has been trying to keep the brewery close to downtown Denver. There's a lot of opportunity to build a brewery further away in the suburbs, and that's not really what I want to do. Why is staying in downtown Denver so important to you? Well, the brewery always has had fairly urban roots. I mean, you've walked around this neighborhood, and you know that we're a bit of an urban brewery, and I think it's important that we stay that way. And um, it's just the feel of the brewery. It's what it's always been. And um, I live close to downtown Denver. My kids go to public schools. Uh, you know, The other thing that's actually, it may sound a little corny, but I feel like we owe it to Denver a little bit because um, we've gotten a number of loans from the city to help us grow and to help us acquire this property. And um, the city actually has been really helpful to us as a growing business. So I think it would be almost a little bit of a slap in the face to go to a suburb outside of Denver. So it's important to me that we sort of pay them back and, and do that. From the other side of this is I think that people need to connect with their local breweries and they want to visit them and, and see them. and. The closer we are to downtown, the, the more likely that is to happen. So there's a sense of loyalty to both the people and the city. Correct, yeah. Way to summarize. <laughs> you did that better than I did. No, no, but the details are very important. So tell me, what, what will this brewery enable to for, for Great Divide? What will be Great Divide's next step? Well, it will allow us to grow and be, be a bigger player in the community. I mean, we've, we donated quite a bit of money to local nonprofits. We hire a number of people. We, a lot of our employees now are starting families and buying houses. So I think we'll become even a bigger, a more important part of the, the fabric here in the community. And that's important to us. So you're looking to, I guess, further enrich your base rather than expand to different uh, markets right now? That's what you're saying. Um, we'll add some markets. I'm sure that we'll have to. Um, we have not added a new market in about four years. So we've seen a lot of growth just through its organic growth. We call it organic growth and it's growth in the existing markets. Um, so we have not added a new market in four years. So um, we probably will have to add markets at that point, but we feel like we can. the markets that we're in will continue to grow. They'll help us get to 65,000 barrels. And then we, when we build the new brewery, then, then we'll probably need to add some markets. So you'll probably wait until you reach full capacity? I think so, yeah. Okay. 
The, the next brewery will be, um, we've found uh, about 5.1 acres, uh, pretty close by to here, less than a mile away. And um, what we would like to do is to do an outdoor beer garden. It's something that we're really unable to do here. We have a, an outdoor patio, but it's important to us, to, to me anyway, to be able to drink beer outside. So we found enough space to, uh, to put a nice beer garden in overlooking the mountains. And I think it'll, it'll be a nice outdoor setting to, to enjoy beer. It's a nice place to drink beer and also to, to hang out and chat, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, it's nice. It's a nice place. Nice place to be outside. Denver is so. Uh, if we can put something outside, that's important to me. That's why we're here at the Tank Farm, right? Yeah, exactly. Now, regarding your new brewery in Denver, how would you compare the size compared to this one here? Um, the next brewery will start with an initial capacity of about a hundred thousand barrels. Um, the five acres that we've narrowed uh, our search down to should have a final capacity of about 250,000 barrels, but it'll take us a number of years to build that out. So we'll start uh, kind of on both ends of the property, and we know that we probably don't need a, a brewery bigger than 100,000 barrels there, but um, it'll be expandable to about 250. And what's your projection for reaching 250 if it gets to that case? I think I'm going to guess that it might take us 15 or 20 years to get there. It's a nice long business plan. Yeah, it's a uh, it's slow growth, but and nobody knows exactly what the future will bring. But there's a lot of growth to be had. We're growing a lot. This is our most mature market. We've been in Colorado for 19 years, almost 20, and we still grow 30 to 40 percent a year every year in this market. So there's a lot of growth still in Colorado and in the other markets that we're in. So what makes 100 to 250 not too big for you? I mean, it's, it's way bigger than what you've been doing here. So how did you assess that? It is bigger, um, but it's, it's a little tricky. I mean, when I started this brewery 20 years ago, I really didn't know where it was going to go. So we found this location. Now we're sort of pigeonholed on 19,000 square feet. It's not very much space. So we don't know what the growth will be in 20 years. My best guess is that we'll continue to grow 15% a year, 20% a year, whatever it is. But... You don't want to go build a brewery every couple of years. So um, we're doing our best guess at the next location for 20 years. Nice to keep that pace. It's a, it's a, I mean, it's a wild shot on, on where you're going to be, what it's going to look like. But you at least need to acquire enough land to allow you to grow to that spot, to be in that spot, mm -hmm. if the demand is there and if that's what we choose to do. Less a lot of it's driven by what we want to do as well. You know. sure, sure, and that'll be further enabled with a, a less restricting space. Uh, agreed. Yeah. Thanks, Brian, for joining me. I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for coming.